Good morning. Well, it's morning for me right here and now. This is Skippy with On The Fly Photography. Sitting here drinking my coffee, doing Lightroom stuff. It's fun. This tutorial is going to be about layering images. Photo uh, Photoshop. Photoshop does do layers. Lightroom, however, does not do layers. For a lot of people, this is a sticking point, and I can see that. I like... I'm, I'm being as I'm into film and shot film for many years and everything and transparencies I like being able to layer transparencies and get all of the effects of that it's something you can't do in Lightroom at least not without help and one of the ways you can do that is of course exporting to Photoshop but if you don't have Photoshop or you want other alternatives that's what we're talking about here this is a plugin for a program called Infuse. The plugin itself is called Lightroom Infuse. I will post links to everything in the comments below, so don't worry about that. First of all, plugins. If you don't know what a plugin is, they're all right over here. File, Plugin Manager. This is how you install them. This is Lightroom Infuse. I've got it selected. It's installed. It's ready to go. Here's the link. Like I said, I will post that. So let's say you have a couple of pictures you want to blend together. In this case, I have these two. These are virtual copies of this photo right here. I'm going to blend these together to get a layered effect. Go to File, Plug in Extras, Blend Exposures using Lightroom Infuse. So, any, Plug in Extras, Blend. And you're going to get the dialog. Now, first of all, you can save different settings as presets. Works pretty much the same way presets work anywhere else in Lightroom. This has four tabs. Configuration. Use the applications. Leave that like it is. Right here, if you see a message in red that says you need to download something, that means you need to download the correct version of Infuse for your computer. I have a multiprocessor system, so that's why this is selected. And if you need to download it, it's going to say download app. Previews. You can generate a preview before you do the actual infusing. Preview size. I set mine to 1,000 and the application you use to view the preview can be whatever you use that views JPEG files. I have mine set to use GIMP. On error, leave that alone. Specify, leave that alone. Auto align. If you took multiple pictures handheld and you need to get them aligned, that's where you might want to use this. If you shot with a tripod or if you did like I did here, if you created virtual copies of one photograph and then tweaked the virtual copies and now you're putting them together, you're not going to need to automatically align them. Let's skip ahead to the Output tab. Output tab, you can create the blended image in the same folder as the originals. That's what I'm doing in this case. You can give it a different file name, or you can take the current file name and append something to it. The default is hyphen blended. You can create your output file as a TIFF or a JPEG, and of course, depending on which of those you select, you will have assorted options to go with that. After it's done, you can re-import the image into Lightroom. That's what I do because I want to see it pop up. You can also open the blended file in some other program, such as Explorer. You could send it to GIMP. You could send it to Photoshop. You could do whatever. Copying metadata or not copying metadata. No big deal. Whatever you want to do there. All right, let's get to the good stuff because everybody wants to see this. These are your options. Uh, different weights. It tells you a little bit about that right up here. Exposure weight, saturation weight, contrast weight. Reset button. These are your defaults for that. Now, we're just going to roll with the defaults for now. We're going to hit Generate Preview. And what it's going to do is going to generate a preview of what this will look like when they're blended together. The time you would want to, while it's doing, we'll talk. The time you would want to turn your contrast weight up and perhaps your exposure and your saturation more down is if what you've done is taking a series of pictures at a low f-stop, like 1.4 and you want to blend all of those together in order to get a picture where the depth of field is very deep that's where you're going to turn your contrast weight up so now my preview is ready and this is just GIMP wanting to know about the color space I'm going to keep the color space and you can see here it's showing me a preview of what the infused images are going to look like 
if you don't like your preview whatever you make changes to your settings you hit generate preview again you do that until you're happy in this case let's say I'm happy you hit this button right here infuse images it's now going to take these two images and put them together and create in this case a tiff it's going to drop it in the same directory as the original images and it's going to import it into Lightroom and it's going to have the file name of the original file with the uh, hyphen infused or whatever on there it's chugging along oh I know I was gonna say you can do this with more than two files I'm just doing it with two files right now for illustration purposes you can infuse as many files as your little heart wants to infuse can't remember if I mentioned this because I've only on the second cup of coffee to have this program fully function and create full-size images you do need to register it registration does cost money the good news is registration is a minimum of two pounds and when I registered mine that translated into like a dollar fifty seven in American dollars so this is totally worth a dollar fifty seven right there there's our final image it, the crank and fashion blended it appended the file name this is a TIFF file it's exported into Lightroom for me. It's in the same directory as the others. There it is. Now, pretty cool, right? Especially for a buck fifty-seven. I don't want to keep that picture. I'm going to go ahead and delete that real quick. But wait, there's more. Let me show you some cool stuff. If you go to, let me close stuff that I don't need real quick. All right. This is the website where you will download Lightroom Infuse. Over here, it's got some links to other stuff. One of the things it has a link to is this, the Infuse GUI. This is a GUI that goes on top of Infuse that allows you to do pretty much the same things we just did. Only you don't need Lightroom in this case, you're doing it directly. So, let me get rid of all this. Infuse GUI, let me start this up. So this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is Infuse. Let me grab a couple of files. You can't see what I'm doing because I'm over here on my other screen, but I'm grabbing a couple of JPEGs and dropping them into this program right here. This handles TIFFs and JPEGs. Sadly, it does not handle DNG files, but you know, life goes on. So I've got two files I'm going to infuse. You can do a preview. Here we see a preview of the two files infused. Say I don't like that. I want to do something different. You Right up here you hit new. Come over here. Change your settings. I'm going to turn my exposure way down. I'm going to turn my contrast way up. I'm going to hit preview. I get a new preview. What's nice is it keeps your previews open. You can compare. I like that one a lot better. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit infuse it. It's going to take these two JPEGs and infuse them. Now, you may be wondering where the heck is my picture because when I first did this I was like okay great where's my final picture these are the two files I infused this is the directory that they're in you where to go Aha! there is now a folder called infused and when I go into that folder you are gonna see logs there's my preview data here is my final image so that's where it gets dropped at and oh it's opening in Photoshop because it's a TIFF. <sighs> la 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 Photoshop. And there it is. Ta da So there you go. That is a couple of different ways to blend some images that do not require Photoshop, allow you to do it via Lightroom, you know, more or less. Yeah. I got some more coming. I'm going to have some more coffee. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Bye-bye.